Are you a single mother? How are you dealing with the obstacles in your life as a single mother? How is your dating life? Are you raising successful children as a single mother? Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't get me wrong. I am not trying to judge you. I was a single mom twice, and I know the answers to the questions that I just asked you. And I want to share with you more information about that. But before I go any further, I want to let you know, you are powerful. You are powerful. But if you do not recognize how powerful you are, you cannot empower your children. You will continue to give away your power to men, to critics, to your job, to everybody else, instead of embracing your power. So, Let's talk about this more. You know, I have to tell you that as a single mom, twice, it was not easy. But I am glad of having the opportunity to be able to raise my kids. Would I have raised them um, with a dad or in a different situation if I could? Yes, I'm not going to lie. Yes, I would have. Because it is a lie when we want to continue to say that we do not need a man. The reality is that, that we do not need a man, but it's helpful to have a man in our life, especially as single moms. And remember, I am talking about single mothers. And if you are a single mother, it is always helpful to have somebody to help you. And although right now the information in the world, they are trying to um, communicate that we don't need a man and we can do everything by yourself and all that stuff. I don't doubt that we can. However, I think it is necessary. It is necessary to understand that we do not need to do it by ourselves because our kids, they need someone other than ourselves to encourage them, to push them, to call them to be better than themselves. And when we are tired and drained, we need that person around to be able to say, hey, I got your back. I got you. And why am I saying that? It's because my mom was a single mom. So not only I was a single mom, but my mom was a single mom of six girls. So I know what I am talking about. And when my mom was dating and I was able to experience that, I made some decisions along the way of saying, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm not going to do. However, when it came to my own situation, I... <coughs> And since time has passed, I had to reconsider some things. I had to sit down and make a plan as to what I was going to allow and set some limitations for myself and for the people that I was dating in order for me to raise successful children. Those are the things then that I want to share with you and I will do that more with time. However, at this point, I want to share a story with you. So I told you I was going to tell you a story. Years ago, I was working at this company where I was a visual designer. And during my time there, I was pretty successful as a vis visual designer. And in one of the meetings that we were having, there were all women there. And of course, they were all married. And I was the only single mother. Yes, I was the only single mom in the whole group. And I would say maybe there was like six other women other than me. And then one of them that was married at that moment, she was a single mother before that. And I love her very, very much. I mean, like me and her was so close to each other. And yes, she was white. And if you can tell, I'm a black Hispanic. And that did make a difference in the conversation. Because one of the women, I will not say what color she is, one of the women that was there, she said, I will never 
be a single mother. I repeat, she said, I will never be a single mother. So the one that I told you that is the white woman that was a single mom before, she asked her, so how can you make a statement like that if you cannot see the future? She said, well, I know because I make better choices and I pick good men. And I can tell you that I will never be a single mother because it's all about a choice. So I look at the, the lady that was a single mom before and we look at each other and we both laugh. And she said, what do you think is funny? And we just said, oh my God. I am sorry for your future because whatever you said is going to bite you. But in Spanish, we have a saying that says, Todo lo que escupes te va a caer en la cara. So it's really saying that everything that you spit up in the air is going to fall in your face. Okay? So let's move forward with that story. I am going to tell you another story and then I'm going to tell you what happened to that story. Just recently, I was talking to a gentleman. Um, he told me, I said, so what do you think about dating single moms? And he said, well, I tried that, but I'm not going to do it again. I said, why? What happened? He said, I went out with a woman that is beautiful. And then on the second date, I met her daughter which is beautiful too. So he explained to me that when he met her up, he said, I need to go and meet up with my mom to drop her something. And then when he went there, he ended up driving her by the courthouse where the mom was going to meet her and the mom have her daughter. So then he was able, she said, this is my daughter. And then he realized, oh, wow, she's as beautiful as the mom. And then that was the that was the meeting that they have. She introduced um, him to the to the daughter, and then she went she went on a date with him, and the mom took the daughter. Okay. Now, with that said, this is the second date, and she said um, he she said to him while they were in the car, and he's driving. She said, you know, I don't want you to feel that I'm taking advantage of you, but. Um, do you have uh, any money, any cash, any cash, she said. And he said, no, I, I don't want with cash. And then he said, um, he, he told her that he don't want with cash. And she was like, oh, okay. He said, why, why did you ask? She said, she said, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. And then they continue to talk. And he's a single man, doesn't have responsibilities. Um, he said, she said to him, so what do you do with your money? By this time, I am having an attitude when he's telling me the story because of the way things are turning out. And she said, so what do you do with your money? And he said, uh, why would I tell you what I do with my money? And she said, well, I mean, you're a single mom, you're a um, single man. You don't have any children. You don't have any responsibilities. You must have a lot of money. He was like, well, I cannot share that information with you, okay? By this time, I'm telling him, man, you should have just cut her off, like immediately. Just tell her, what do you want me to drop you off and drop her off in the next corner? Because by this time, if I was a man, I, oh, I would cut her off already, but that's just me. Anyway, so he continued to tell me the story. And he said, after she said, you know, um, I don't have enough money. And I wanted to buy my daughter a gift for her birthday. He was like, oh, okay. Um, you know, I mean, he took her, he said, we can go and buy something and I will pay with my credit card. Okay. So he went with her. He had her pick out something. And when she got to the register, he handed the credit card to her so that she can give it to, to, the, um, to the cashier. 
After that, um, he gave her the credit card. After that, she gave it back to him. He said, you know, he didn't notice anything different, whatever. So he, he went home. The next day, he got a message from his credit card company. And he had all of these charges on his credit card. And there were lots of charges accumulating over $500. Yeah, you heard me right. Several charges accumulating $500. Then he knew who had done it because he wasn't hanging out with anybody else. He, he didn't share his credit card with anybody. So at some point, what had happened is that when he handed her the credit card, he felt that she either memorized the number or she took a screenshot of it, something she did. But she, she was able to copy his credit card because all of these purchases were made online on that night that she made that purchase. And yes, you're going to play the devil advocate. And you're going to say, <coughs> how does he know it was her? Well... I'm not going to get into the story, but it was her, period. It was her. She charged it. So not only did she give us a bad name, she gave herself a bad name as a single mom, and she made it bad for other single moms, making men believe that this is what single mom are all about. That is one story. Now, let me tell you about another story about a single mother. Everything was, was great. She had her career. She had everything going for her, right? But because she had challenges during her youth, she decided she was not going to marry she just wanted to have a child so she went through the whole insemination process and all of that to be able to have a child so that made her a single mother now she have her career she's taking care of her kids however she had to find a mentor to mentor her son so in order for, for her to help her son be successful and um, get a, she, she found a male mentor. So that's what I am saying. We believe that we don't need anyone, but we do. Either you're a mom and you're raising a daughter, you might need someone else to give your child another point of view that is not your own. You might be saying to your kid the same thing over and over and over. And come another woman and say the same thing you said. And your daughter say, wow, you are so smart. It ever happened to you? Well, it happened to me. Because it is not a matter of I can do it by myself. It is a matter of how great, how amazing, how powerful I can be if I allow other people to help me do a better job. Because it's all about teamwork. That is something that I did not know about before until I got myself in the situation and I learned that yes, I went to school. I served the first time as a single mom, I did not have an education. The second time of a single mom, I had a degree. And I did all the things that I needed to do. I bought my own house. I did all of that. But yet, I did seek advice from outside in order for me to raise successful children. I read books. I went to seminars. I talk. I talk. I ask questions. I look at single mothers that made a lot of mistakes. I talk to my mom, I talk to my aunts, I talk to different older people, younger people, young girls, all educated women, non-educated women. And those are the kind of things that I want to share with you ladies. So, I know, you are waiting for the, the lady in the story from the beginning. Well, let me tell you that I did not expect that, but I do believe in God. 
And um, every time that someone spit up in the ear to try to humiliate me, because at that moment, in that meeting, I was the only single mom at that moment, and she was speaking directly at me, like to humiliate me, is because of the tone in her voice that she used. That's why the other woman and I was laughing, because everybody else was just like in agreement with her, like, if you make the same decision that we make, we are not single moms. So therefore, if you follow our lead, you will never be a single mom, okay? However, we agree with you. So that's what the body language and the responses we got from the other woman. However, myself and the other woman, that was white, and she was an ex-single mom, we kind of like said, I'm so sorry for what's coming in your future. And I never knew that I was going to be able to see her future. Years later, I'm working for a different company. And I see this person's name on the list. And I'm like, oh my God, it is her. I'm not going to say the name. And I see the name and I was excited because really I was excited to know that she was there. And at that moment, I did not remember all that conversation. Honestly, I did not remember. Oh no, I did not remember. But then, when I when I look it when I look her up at the company, you know, intranet, I saw that it was the same person. I'm like, oh, cool, right? But then, um, but the the last name was hyphenated by another last name which would mean that she's married right okay i'm like okay that's good she got married that's cool she said that she was gonna be married and all that stuff so then after that i am in a meeting and we are waiting the people are taking too long i'm in a meeting and there are women talking you know you women yeah there are women talking in the group and they mention her name. And in that, that they're talking in the group and they'll mention her name, they said, oh, she's been, she's been separated for a while. Her husband left her for another woman. So I'm like, maybe I'm not thinking about the same person. And I said, um, so who are you guys talking about? And they said, as if I don't know who they was talking about, they said, oh, no, this, this woman that she is like such a show off. She always talking bad about everybody. She is such a show off. And uh, her husband left her. Like, you know, one of the ladies that is a single mom, she said all the time, she always looked down at me because I'm a single mom. And she swore on uh, her mother's grave, which I don't think she have a mother. This is what they said. Um, that she will never be a single mom. And then they tell me that her husband cheated on her with her best friend. So, I am just like, whoa. At this moment, I can honestly tell you that I was not applauding. I was not jumping from joy. There was some sadness inside of me because of I thought of how painful it is for her at that moment. Of how painful it is to know that you said so many things and know that you are in that situation. You are starting to realize that you got bite by your own words. And at that moment, I was hurting for her. Later, like a week later, I got to see her. And it saddened me even more. Because when I saw her, I saw a woman that was broken. A woman that was destroyed. A woman that was humbled by life. A woman that was left with two children. And the only thing she had 
at that moment, other than those amazing children, was her education. She cried. She said, I'm sorry. She said if she could do it again, she would never have said those words because it was painful. She said, I have not been separated for a couple months. I have been separated for over two years. I just did not know how to face it. So I let people believe I was still married. He left me a long time ago. I hurt for her. It was hard. It was hard to know that not only did she have the experience being a single mom and have to experience that challenging life, but she had to live with what she have said. After that, I don't know what she did with her life. I don't know what happened because she was going through a lot of difficulty and she got laid off and then I never heard from her again. So why am I telling you this story? Ladies, if you're not a single mother, don't spit in the air. Ladies, if you are a single mother, don't take advantage of men. Ladies, if you are a single mother, make your children a priority. Ladies, if you are a single mother, I have to tell you, you are powerful. You are so powerful, but you do not know how powerful you are. You are powerful. It took me a while to find out that I was powerful. Right now, I'm waiting for responses from men, women, older, younger, from all over the place. Because I don't want my book to only be about my own opinions and experiences. I want to gather information from other people. And that is what I am putting together right now. I am going to be holding many seminars um, only for single mothers or um, if, if you are interested in finding out more about single mothers. I am accumulating information because I am hearing more and more that men are using single mothers, that men are abusing single mothers, that men are thinking they don't want nothing to do with you single mothers. I am listening to this over and over and over again. And I am hearing these stories and it's hurting my heart because single mothers are wonderful. Most of you are hardworking, determined fighters. You can be loving, protecting, and successful. Many of you out there are giving us a bad name. I say us because I was a single mother. Many of you out there are giving us a bad name because of the way you are behaving, the way that you are treating your children, and the way that you are treating men. And I am telling you, that can change. I want to help you change that. Not only do I want to help you be more successful in your thinking and in your actions, but I want you to be more successful as a mom, as a single mother. I don't have all the answers, but I made a lot of mistakes. And as a life coach, I have helped many, many women, especially single moms, overcome obstacle challenges, destructive beliefs, and turn them into actions. I have been able to be successful of that because there's no judgment on this side. I will tell you what I think, but I cannot judge you because I don't judge myself for what I did. I learn from my mistakes and I move forward. And although this is not going to be a religious book, 
at the very end of my book is going to be a section only for single mothers who are Christians. I said that, yes. At the end of the book, there are going to be a chapter completely de dedicated to single mothers who are Christians. But the entire concept of the book, I don't care if you're an atheist, if you're a Buddhist, if you're a Muslim, if you are whatever you are, if you are a single mother, this book is for you. Title and concept of the book, more of the information I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be sharing it right now, but I will be giving you more information about this in the future. So please, if you want me to add something to the book based on your experience, based on something that you want women to know that you experience and you believe, you know what? They need to know this. Please comment and share that information with you with me. And if you do not want to make it public by making a comment in this video, please send an email to info at envivoassociates.com. Again, info at envivoassociates.com. Men, if you are listening to this video, if you made it this far, men. Please, 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 please. I don't care if you hate the idea of dating a single mom. I don't care if you are married to a woman that was a single mom. I don't care if you believe I will never, 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 never date a single mom. I want to know your reasons. Please help me understand so that I can communicate that information to others. Please, I want to know your reason for not dating or dating or being part of the life of a single mother. I want to know your opinion. Maybe you are a brother of a single mom. Maybe you are a pastor who counsels single mothers. Whatever it is, men, women, if you have anything to share with me about the life of a single mother, please, please share it with me. Share it with me. This is not about me making the best-selling book or making money from it. I believe that that is my calling. I believe that that is what I'm supposed to be doing, is to be able to encourage and empower single mothers. And that's the reason why I'm taking my time today to share it with you guys. So please help me empower single mothers. It's not about woman power. It's about empowering. Is about empowering women so that they can empower their children. Remember, if I had to pick between empowering children and empowering women, I would pick empowering children. But guess what? When I was younger and I decided that I wanted to be a psychologist because I wanted to help children, I realized that I could not help children if I helped them and their mom. It's not mentally healthy. The children is going to have a hard time. That child is going to have a hard time. So I learned that I need to empower women when they're raising their children. Because women are the one that's going to cook, the one that's going to feed them, the one that's going to study with them. And that's in general. That's what happened even in the old days. In the old days, the man went to work and the woman was at home taking care of her kid, studying with them, guiding them, doing all of that. Today, women work and they have to do the same, train their kids. So we cannot blame schools and all. That's another story for another time, but we cannot put the blame on schools and education. We have to learn to take responsibility for our children. We have to learn to take responsibilities for our actions, for our thinking, for what is it that we're doing. And that is my calling. My calling is to pass on that information that I experienced myself in my own thoughts, my own life, and gather data from everywhere. And at some point, I will sit down with you guys. I will interview my son and um just honest interview he is 27 years old he's an engineer who is married 
and um, I will sit down and just have a conversation with him what it was like to be with a single mom what was the good the bad and the ugly so that you can hear about that also I also have a daughter which has been a little on the challenging side but she will also be able to tell you the good the bad and the ugly about being a single mom especially this mom that was a single mom okay so although I am married today I can tell you this is my second marriage yes and um, I definitely have so much to share with you guys um, anything that you want to ask me I'm willing to to answer I have made a decision to be an open book because there's no way I can help you grow for my mistakes and for my victories if I don't open up so I invite you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to like so that the algorithm can attract other single moms and YouTube can post this to other women and also um, I want you to make a comment if you feel that I said something wrong or whatever whatever is it that you feel I want you to make that comment um, anybody that decide to be disrespectful of course I am going to block you this is really for us I want not only myself to grow but you people to grow as well through these messages and what I am going to try to do if Mbibo Live is going to start becoming an English channel so today I am posting my last Spanish video on Mbibo Live okay if I do any video in the future that is going to be Spanish, it's going to be bilingual. So it's going to have Spanish and English. I am going to explain something, say something and explain it in Spanish or something like that. So other people will know, oh, I don't know that I'm going to be doing that, but I might put some little wording in the bottom um, in Spanish. But from now on, this channel in Bebo Life is going to be for English. And I have another channel that I'm working on right now. And that channel is going to be purely, 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 purely in Spanish. Okay. So I decided to separate that so that I can focus on getting you people the right information in English. Okay. So thank you again for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Please share this video if you like what I said and if you want to find out more information about future conferences, future um, empowerment groups that we're going to have. I have many people that want to join me in this venture. So if you are a life coach, uh, man or woman, and you want to be part of me helping during this journey, then um, join me. Thank you again. Remember, send an uh, email to info at envivoassociate.com info at envivoassociate.com talk to you soon bye